Hey, what's up? Welcome back to the Evictors Podcast. So, Harbaugh has had his chance to come back this season, and he just couldn't. Plain and simple. Indiana and Wisconsin have proven to be too much for this team and their coordinators. This season, in all honesty, shouldn't be the deciding factor unless we get shut out by the rest of the games moving forward because we just lost 10 players to the draft, Ambry Thomas and Nico Collins to opt-outs, and multiple injuries early in the season. Not to mention a brand new line and QB. That being said, I don't think he can coach up to the intensity that he has before, and I don't think he can make in-game changes like he has before. But from an outside perspective, we shouldn't completely draw all conclusions from a coach this year. But for now, and most likely 2021, we still have Harbaugh, so the only way for him to come out on top of 2020 on a positive note is flipping the script and beating OSU, which is basically impossible at this point. So let's look at 2021 and what looks like a last-ditch effort to prove something to the Michigan fans. My plan if I were Harbaugh would be to almost completely clean house at the end of the 2020 season. The following coaches are the coaches I would keep. Ed Warner, Sharon Moore, Bob Shoup, and Brian Jean Mary. Those are all terrific coaches in the program right now, and the rest I would just clean house. Offensively, stick to Gattis' scheme, but hire an offensive coordinator known for great play calling and clock management. It's too late to revert back to the old offensive scheme, and the players in right now aren't really built for that scheme. So, get someone who can run the spread correctly and efficiently. Defensively, Bob Shoup could replace Don and even Brian Jean Mary, but overall, we need to start from scratch and find a defensive coordinator flexible enough to where he doesn't rely solely on one defensive package that completely falls apart if the corners are bad one season or the line isn't getting pressure in a game. The coordinator also needs to recognize insufficient schemes and have a solid backup plan, something we haven't seen from Don in five years. Jim also needs to bring back the fire and intensity while also asserting himself and making big in-game changes when needed as the head coach. A common misconception is that Jim gets in the coordinator's way and makes the team worse. It's actually very much the opposite because the team is better when Jim asserts himself and makes changes when the coordinators are scrambling. We saw it last year when Harbaugh inserted himself because Gaddis was fumbling the offense. It got better and so did play calling. Now let's move on to basically the QB room. So, JJ and McNamara should be heavily leaned on. Whoever wins the QB battle and basically whoever's a better leader, McNamara looked good, he looked like a stud, but overall, JJ seems like he has more of a leadership quality to him and with this recruiting class. And at this point in the year 2021, the line will be in its second year, Daxon in his third, a growing linebacker core, a D-line who got lots of playing time in 2020 due to injuries, Zach Corman, Hassan Haskins most likely back, and a receiving core in year two. I also love the fire in the 2021 recruiting class, and we should have a free-for-all for all positions, whether it's McCarthy, Junior Colson, Xavier Worthy, Rod Moore, or Jaden Hood. They all deserve to get in, and if they're good enough, they should be in. Our secondary should also improve due to the stacked 2019 defensive recruiting class and potential better coaching. So according to my plan to have one last run in 2021, Harbaugh needs to almost completely clean house, have a working defense that has many levels to it, a great play caller, involve talent across all positions, develop J.J. or McNamara enough to be a stud, bring back his fire and intensity, and involve himself in the game, doing what coaches are there to do, which is make changes mid-game and do what's best for the team. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm Jeremy Brown. This is the Victor's Podcast. As always, go blue.